Hello and welcome to Kids Talk Health. I'm your host, Hannah Meinhardt. And I'm Ron Meinhardt, her co-host, a.k.a. Dad. Today we're going to be talking about how the way we think affects our body. Hannah, is there anything that you think we should trust? Our parents. Our parents. Okay. Who else? Our friends. Anyone else? God. Ah, yes. Let's go to Samuel and Haley, our affiliates out in the field, to learn more about trust. That's a great idea. While many people are concerned about coronavirus, worrying about getting sick can actually get you sick. Studies have shown that anxiety has a detrimental effect upon immune health, putting you at greater risk for disease in general. Stress is not negative in and of itself. It can actually be a good motivator. But don't let that lead to anxiety, a condition caused by a continued unaddressed stressor. Anxiety can lead to many emotional problems, but it also has a very detrimental effect on the body which can lead to many chronic illnesses, like stomach ulcers, heart disease, high blood pressure, and even cancer. Wow, that was a really informative video, wasn't it? Yes, that reminds me of something I learned in Teacher Rob's class. Really? Yeah, let's go to that clip. Okay. Well, one day I was walking through the woods, and I was walking along, and I have a little girl, and she's about this tall. And she had to step over a log, and the log was about this tall. And she was walking in the snow. So there she goes. She tries to step over the log, and she slips, and she falls down on the ground. And you know what she did? She didn't even call my name. She just put her arm straight up, just like that. And I grabbed her arm, and I picked her up. Now, here's the question. How did she know I was there? Well, we had been walking along and I had been talking with her while we were walking down the trail. Do you think that helped her know that her daddy was with her? Yeah, okay, so can I have someone come up here for me and stand on this chair? Come on up. Hey, now, would you feel very comfortable about falling backwards off this chair? No. No, and you shouldn't. But how can we make you feel more comfortable? There's a recipe for comfort and trust in the Bible. That's in Romans. Chapter 10, verse 17, it says, Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. If you could hear someone you love behind you, would you be more likely to fall backwards? Okay, let's call your dad up here. Well, don't look. Don't look. Okay, now, how do you know he's behind you? Why don't you ask him? Are you behind me? I'm here. Okay, now tell me, how comfortable do you feel about falling backwards? Do you feel better? Yeah. Okay, what if he gets really close? Okay, now ask him if he's there. Are you there? I'm here. Do yeah. you feel better now? Yeah. Would you fall backwards? Yeah. Okay, you don't have to. You can if you want to. You want to? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, did you feel scared? Well, at first I was kind of, but then I decided you were too close to worry. Speaking of trust, remember that time that we were in Florida and a tropical storm is coming? I was really scared, but then I read in the Bible that there is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear. I decided that if God loved me so much, I didn't need to worry, and everything turned out good in the end. You know, that's really the solution to anxiety, right Hannah? Yes, and remember you're never too little to help others. Until next time, kids talk health.